Okay, this video is my favorite by far. It's the reason I came to Young Living and it's all about quality. Now, I had used essential oils prior to coming to Young Living and I didn't know that there was a standard or that there were different kinds of essential oils. I just thought, this lavender smells good, bought it from a shelf at a grocery store and used it in my bath water, it smelled nice, but I didn't know that essential oils actually can have uh, benefits to your body. I didn't know this stuff. Um, and there's some other you know, interesting facts I learned about quality just by going on this wellness journey with Young Living. So let's talk about a few things that I've learned. Some things that I've learned is that there's no rating system in the United States for essential oils. So when you're buying an essential oil from the shelf at a grocery store, unless you really know the ins and outs of that company, you don't know what's in the bottle. Uh, the only thing that the FDA requires is that in order for a bottle of essential oil to be labeled pure or therapeutic grade, it must contain 5% essential oil. 5%. So what is the other 95%? I don't know. That's why I stopped buying essential oils off the shelf of the store unless I knew what was going on in that company. And I really didn't know what was going on in that company. So that's why I love Young Living because I know everything that goes in the bottle that I get of essential oil. Let's talk about the categories of essential oils that you can find on the marketplace. There's four categories. There's grade A, grade B, grade C, and grade D. Starting with grade A, those are the therapeutic oils. They're made from organically grown plants and distilled at low temperatures. Those are the high quality oils. Grade B are food grade. So they may contain some synthetics, they may contain pesticides, fertilizers, chemical extenders, or carrier oils. Yuck. Next, there's grade C oils. Those are perfume oils. They're often adulterated um, with chemicals or they're usually, they have solvents in them, for example, hexane, and they use hexane to gain a higher yield of oil at harvest. Problem is that these solvents are cancerous. They can be cancerous. And in many store-bought oils, they're also diluted that 80 to 95%, because remember, they only have to be 5% pure on the, on the shelf. Um, again, yuck. Grade D is called floral water. Floral water is aromatic only. It smells nice, that's about it. And it's usually a byproduct of the grade A oils in distillation. So after all the oil is pulled out, all those beneficial parts for your body are pulled out of that oil, the leftover trash water is sold to companies to fill their 5% bottle with that leftover trash water and then fill up the rest of the bottle with carriers and label it pure. That's not the essential oils that I wanna be using. Grade A essential oils are the only true pure oils. Grade D would be like walking into your fridge, grabbing your orange juice, pouring it a little bit, diluting it 95% with water, and then expecting to get all the benefits of orange juice. You're just not gonna get it. Before you purchase an essential oil, be sure to see if that company grows their own plants. Do they own their own farms and fields? Do they control the entire process from seed to seal? from the farm to the seeded, sealed bottle. Pesticides, pollution, previously farmed land, all of it can affect the quality of your essential oil. And if you're using an essential oil to get away from chemicals, why would you use something that has chemicals in it? Ditch those junk oils. Go with grade A, go with Young Living, okay? One of the things that truly convinced me that Young Living was the company for me was this seed to seal process. It's a promise of integrity. Gary Young said he never makes an oil for profit. It's always for a purpose. And seed to seal means that each plant on our own farms is hand weeded. There's no pesticides. There's no chemicals and no weed killers. The plants are harvested at their peak to ensure that all the parts and pieces that are gonna be beneficial to you in that oil are there. They go from farm directly to your home. Seed to seal is not a slogan. 
It's not a marketing uh, promise. It's, it's a guarantee that Young Living has with you. You can learn more about Young Living's story and fall in love with the company as I have at seedtoseal.com. I really urge you to go there. It's truly remarkable to see everything that goes into these little bottles. And you yourself can experience it firsthand. I know that my husband and I went to the Mona, Utah farm and we planted yarrow plants that will be distilled in a couple of years to make yarrow essential oil. We got to talk to the farmers, we got to see the whole process, and at that time when we were at the farm, they were distilling juniper. So we watched them load the juniper um, into the distillery and watched the oil come out, and then right from there it goes into a bottle and is labeled and sealed and ready to be shipped off to you. That's integrity and that's why I chose Young Living.